Okay, this is how you will find the center of mass of a system of particles. Start by establishing a pivot point. I'm going to use my pivot point at the zero centimeter mark. Now you want to imagine where I would need to put all of the mass to create the same torque that we had originally from our system of particles. So, to find the original torque of our system of particles, we simply take the distance to each particle, so for instance for the first particle, radius 1, and we multiply that by the force of gravity that would be pulling down on that object, which would be mass 1, gravity 1. That's the torque from object 1. Then for object 2, we do the exact same procedure. Radius 2, mass 2, gravity. Multiply them together. We would get a total torque of radius 1, mass 1, gravity, plus radius 2, mass 2, gravity. This gives us our total torque from our system originally. Now we imagine a single mass located at that spot that we're looking for, the center of mass, that produces the exact same torque we had originally. So now our distance we will call radius to the center of mass, RCM, and the mass will be the total mass of our system. So this original torque must be equal to the mass of our system times gravity times the distance to the center of mass. Notice you have the gravitational field in each term, so that can cancel out. And when we solve, we get the distance to the center of mass from our reference point is equal to distance to the first particle times its mass plus the distance to the second particle times its mass divided by the total mass of the system. This formula will allow us to get the center of gravity relative to that point. So for this system that we have here, we go with the radius to object 1 of 113 times 7.7 .7 for its mass. Then we add to that the distance to the next particle times its mass. Then we divide by the total mass. This gives us a location of the center of gravity of 136 centimeters from our reference point, which we were putting right at the zero centimeter mark. So the center of gravity of this system would be approximately right there almost right outside the surface of the 7.7 .7 kilogram object.